Hello, this is the B of Nib Tech Support. I am Brandon. Uh, this tutorial will explain to you the basics of mastering the command prompt or CMD. Now, CMD is very similar to the character user interface or CUI of MS DOS, but there are some minor differences, but uh, we won't run into any problems here because the basics are in both MS-DOS and Command Prompt as far as I know. I've never used MS-DOS but I know um, usually what is different but uh, chances are you're not using MS-DOS and you're using a Windows computer. Uh, to access Command Prompt simply go to your start menu type in CMD and click enter. I already have mine open. Or if it's on your desktop you can do it that way. Now, normally, uh, you will start in the System32 folder. The reason I'm not in there right now is because I was just messing around with uh, CMD a couple minutes earlier. I'm just going to type in some stuff. You don't have to do this, but I'm just uh, making my way to the uh, System32 folder. Okay, now that I'm in System32, uh, the first thing we're going to learn is the cd or change directory command. Now what this does is exactly what it says, it changes the directory. Now if you're wondering what a directory is, that is another name for a folder, it's the name they used for folders back in the DOS days. Now in the DOS days there was no graphical user interface, it was simply this right here. None of this. But when you're changing directories it's the exact same as opening a folder or uh, changing folder stuff like that. First things first, uh, we're going to go to the root of our drive, which is a C drive. To do that, type in CD and then type in backslash and then hit enter. And now you'll see we're in the root of our C drive. Uh, another command that you can use, or another uh, change directory uh, argument you can use, is C simply typing in CD and then type in space and then typing in the name of the folder or path like if I wanted to go to Windows I simply type in Windows and hit enter but if I wanted to go right to system32 I push cd then type in Windows slash system32 which is what I just did earlier you can also use cd and then put two periods and that goes back a folder Um, we can also change our drive uh, that you're on. Uh, there's no act, well, there's no specific letter for it. You simply type in your drive number and then colon, and then when you go into that drive. If you had a CD or or a floppy drive or any other removable drives. Um, If there's nothing in it, then it will not let you go there. For example, it'll it'll say the device is not ready because C and D are my main hard drives, and E and F are uh, CD drives for me. Um, if you have a removable drive, then it will say the system cannot find the drive specified, but E and F are already there, there's just nothing in them, so the device is not ready. Uh, you see it's there, our uh, screen is pretty much full there. Uh, this is a command you'll probably want to use lots. You can resize your window if you want, but I prefer to just type in CLS and then hit enter, and then it completely clears the screen. Now let's go back to our C drive. Okay, the next thing we're going to learn is listing directories and files. Now, the dir command lists every file and folder that is not, um, and it lists every file and folder in your current directory, and it will not show hidden folders and files. So type in dir on your C drive and you'll get all this. You see a lot of st stuff in here, but that's essentially uh, everything in your C drive. You can type in CLS.
Now all folders and files can have an attribute and there's four uh, specific attributes that we're going to work with. The first one is a read-only attribute. If a file or folder has a read-only attribute that means you can view the file, you can read it, but you cannot move it, delete it, copy it, or do any of that with it. You can only view it. The archive attribute means the file is part of an archive. Uh, the system file attribute means it, it is a system file and hopefully uh, no files other than the ones that are supplied with your computer and operating system are system files that you begin with. And then there's hidden files which means you cannot view it unless you tell the dir command to view hidden files or folders. Now we're going to be uh, manipulating the attributes of some files we'll, and folders we'll create later, but for now, um, if you wanted to view, if only archive files, you would type in sla slash aa after uh, the dir command. So there's all our archive files. I'm going to clear the screen. Uh, if I wanted to view only read-only files, I type in AR. If I wanted to view only uh, system files, I type in slash AS. And the same goes for hidden files. We can also view everything but uh, archive files. Now by default, if you don't type anything in, it won't show hidden files or folders. But if we type in is a dash a, then it would show everything but that, and it's pretty much the same thing from there on. 